All right, and we're back and we're doing more vehicles. So it seems after doing the fire station, you basically just get a dump of, hey, have some vehicles to clean. So going off the um, basic washer playlist, these are all in a weird order because apparently I did the SUV, then Miller's car, then the fire truck, and then the penny farthing. So a little bit weird. Um, it'll be easiest to do it in the same order so that way I can just link to the same video as a, a reference of the basic washer version and be done with it. And I doubt I'm going to need much more than just the white nozzle for this. Because it's just lightly dirty. And it's not even that big. It's basically just like doing the van again. Slightly different shape. Basically, so long as you spray it from every angle, it's just going to be clean. <laughs> Everything's just going to, yeah, double, triple, whatever ding. So many dings. There's the wing mirror, yep. I just can't get over it. Just all, all of the dings happening. Because we're not really having to pay attention to what we're doing, chances are what ends up happening is we'll miss bits and we won't know what we've missed because we don't even know what to look at because everything's just happening all at once. <laughs> so I, I don't know what I might have missed because... I didn't have to actually concentrate on anything. <laughs> That's the problem with doing the pro washer. Basic washer, I had to be a lot more careful about everything that I did. Bonnet and brake light. Okay, so apparently a brake light is not done. One of these is not done. There we go. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> uh, funny. Yeah, that's just too quick. And yeah, I just missed one of the brake lights because I didn't have to pay attention to what I was doing. <laughs> okay, so after the SUV, it was Grandpa Miller's car, apparently. It was very sweet. And let's get going. So this does have some rust. So the rust we're not going to be able to clean with the white nozzle. So with that being the case, I mean, we should be able to do the windscreen with it still, or the window with it, regardless. Let's take this time as well. Uh, let's just do green. Okay, yeah, so green does rust, turns out. Green nozzle OP for power wash, uh, for pro washer. We were having to scour this ruthlessly. With the basic washer. Ding, ding, ding. Got the trim as well. That's nice. It's a bit of a bonus there. Turbo fast car. Hey. It's like a weird bad translation or something. I don't know why I'm trying to do these from the roof. Because I feel I'll be able to do it a lot better from side on. But never mind. We've done them now. I guess with the rusty bits I just have to go slightly slower but otherwise yeah this this isn't taking long there's the hood scoop done bonnet there's the lights yup there's the number plate yup bumper extends all the way around the side oh indicator that's interesting once again we're probably going to have little bits that we didn't realize actually needed to clean but there's just so many things that we're just wafting at, and they just light up without me having to even do anything. Uh, those who are eagle-eyed will recognize this house as one we've done before. This was the third job we did, I think. The bungalow. Let's 
next door. The other door? Something's missing. There we go. Bit of trim. Gotta remember that white bit on the side does have a bit of a vertical element to it. Uh, alloy wheel is apparently not done. Yes, it is. I'm a liar. <laughs> There's the spoiler. It, okay, there's just everything, it turns out. Bumper, lights. What's that? Seems the tire doesn't even care about doing it from both sides, it just does it regardless. Uh, alloy wheel, alloy wheel, two doors, that'll be these two here. So we'll have to do a slight under angle there. Yep, and wing mirror. And we're done. <laughs> wow, we didn't even take an entire song for that one. Uh, cool. This would have gone a lot slower on the basic washer, I'm sure. It'll be interesting to compare, uh, because all the rust meant that I would have had to just... Right in front of the camera. Um, all the rust, you'd have to scour it away with the turbo or the red nozzle. Excellent. So that was that one. Uh, then I think it was Fire Truck and then Penny Farthing. Fire Truck is another one that took a long time initially because of all the rust. So long and thanks for all the rust, but it's not going to last very long this time around. Uh, there's also, I think, the achievement for this was you've got to clean all of the lights first or something. Uh, definitely a lot easier to do if you are using not a pro washer because otherwise you'll just accidentally spray something and it'll clean. Jesus. Did it do all four at once? I think it did. Jeez. Eh. Right. <laughs> So I normally work like from the top down or something, we're just basically starting at the front and working back it seems, it's, it's very much just a spray and it'll spray it and it will ding sort of situation. So we'll do the front and then maybe we'll jump on the roof and do the rest of it properly. Mirror. Need the tires to last or something, I guess. Uh, this will be the rest of the bumper, presumably. A little bit of rust there. Yep. Uh, the grill is now done. The windscreen is done. The windscreen wipers are not, interestingly. Now they are. Cool. Uh, well, let's just go up the top, I guess. The light bar, the fog lights from behind, there we go. Release rules, fire draws. Well, that's just your opinion, man. Not a very good one of that. Some of this stuff I could probably just uh, white nozzle it, uh, but I know that anything with rust, it's gonna at minimum take the green, so I may as well just do that on everything. Speaking of fire, this song. Getting the gap in between the ladders is really annoying. I don't even know how fastidious I need to be, but it's the sort of thing that I could just imagine being frustrating to do at the end. So let's deal with it. Get it out of the way. Then just slowly across the top of the ladder because there's a bit of rust on there. Then 
It says ladder, but it's actually both ladders, I think. So as we're doing this one here, yeah, it's ticking down further. Uh, we'll end it up from the other side as well. Uh, also down here, just get that little bit in between the edge of the rack. The ladder itself. There, it's all just a truck at that point, but... Here's the ladder. And this is just a truck. So, who knows how generous that's going to be, because that's just most of the... most of the outside. So the lights... Yeah. Okay, the control panel. Always fun. We'll do the other side first, actually, because I think this is the side that the time lapse is going to be on. Oh well. Too late now. Okay, there's the wheel. Or the tire, rather, not the wheel. There we go. There's the wheel. Alright, yeah, let's do this side first. Because I'm fairly sure the time lapse will be the other side. Door, there we go. I didn't see if the handle lit up, but it doesn't look like the handle's separate. That handle is separate, but not the door handle. Tire. All of this trim at the bottom is still just a truck. <laughs> okay, control panel. The individual bits are not dingable, unfortunately, so it doesn't have like a hose nozzle and gauge and stuff, which is kind of disappointing. Some later levels do that sort of thing, like the steam train has that sort of breakdown. That's not a later level, that's just a special level, you can do that at any time. Um, I'm not gonna redo the like special levels like the steam train and the mini golf map and the fountain and stuff. I've done them before. Uh, they're all on YouTube already. Uh, they've not changed because you get set equipment to use, you can't use your own. Uh, much to my chagrin on the fountain level because you can only use like the urban washer and it's really tedious. I was really wishing that I could use at least the high pressure if not oof, um, if not the pro. To be fair, I guess because I reset my progress, it probably doesn't say that I've completed them before, so I probably will want to complete them, but I won't care about making another video of doing so because it would be exactly the same. I remember the, the Gnome Fountain one, I actually ended up cutting a bunch out. Uh, simply because like I was, I was skipping forward bits and pieces here and there, I think. Someone didn't like the comments, but too bad. Because uh, it was just so repetitive. <laughs> like, unless I was talking about anything interesting, which is very unlikely for me, uh, I was just skipping bits. Oh, there's the truck bit done. Uh, there's this tire. This wheel. We're really close to being done. We need to go all the way down, don't we? Here, there we go. There we go. Control panel, handle, and wing mirror. Oh, okay. That must be the wing mirror on the other side, I guess. It'll be this handle, I think. Nope, that handle's done. That handle's done. Oh, it's one of them. This handle. There we go. That handle. Uh, so, wing mirror. 
Must be this one. Ah, didn't do the inside. My bad. And control panel. And then after this is the penny farthing, which will take like 10 seconds probably. <laughs> Actually, it is rusty to be fair, but... Well, look. There's the fire truck done. Go, you big red fire engine. As expected, I just disappear for a bunch. <laughs> cool. So it's that one. And now Penny Farthing, because we've done everything else on this list so far. And then I think the RV is actually next. Which originally I did in a separate job. I don't know whether I'll bother doing it a separate job this time around or not. Because uh, it'll probably be really quick. So, <laughs> it is a bit bigger to be fair. It is a, a larger vehicle. But it's still not very large. That said, I will be taking a short break after doing this one anyway, so that's where I'll cut it. Because that way, this episode will just have parity with the original uh, basic washer episode. Doing the same vehicles in the same order, from what I can determine. Good. Good. I remember this was an absolute B to do with the basic washer simply because it was all the rust and I had to focus on the specific bits which is really tedious uh, okay handlebars apparently not done I probably need to do a bunch of stuff from underneath actually up yeah I need to get down probably yep seat support yep pedals yep and pedals yep there we go yeah that that was fast <laughs> And then the time lapse takes longer than the level almost. It's, yeah, even worse than the golf cart. Okay, well, we're going to call that episode there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And we'll be back with more next time.